A minor dog bite killed a Snohomish County man. Now his family is suing the dog's owner. Come of course, Denise Whitaker is live at the Snohomish County Courthouse with the details. Denise? Well, this really is a rare case, guys. Dogs bite about 5 million people a year, but fewer than a handful end up with the serious infection that Kenneth Bach ended up with, all from just one bite on his hand. Now his family's suing here in Snohomish County, blaming the dog's owner. Kenneth Bach was working at Chain Lake Self Storage when a customer's dog bit him. This is the dog, a coonhound named Buddy. It drew blood. Uh, but it appeared to be a minor bite. It seemed minor until attorney Chris Davis tells me it caused Bach a serious infection that landed him in the hospital. Bach died 10 days later. My medical experts have told me that it's a very painful and agonizing death. Davis tells me Bach had a pre existing condition. According to the Centers for Disease Control, that condition made Mr. Bach more susceptible to this particular type of infection. But the family filed this wrongful death lawsuit, claiming negligence by the dog's owner, Conrad Haskins, claiming he knew this was not the first time Buddy bit someone. Police records do show Buddy bit another customer at Chain Lake Storage the same day he bit Bach. For some reason, uh, the dog's owner, Conrad Haskins, allowed the dog to roam free. Absolutely not. At the time that this incident took place, Buddy was on the passenger seat inside Mr. Haskins' Suburban. Attorney Gary Trabolsi tells me Bach stuck his hand inside the truck, and that's when Buddy bit him. Plus, police records show Haskins chose to put Buddy to sleep one week before Bach died. Mr. Haskins decided he never, ever wanted this to happen again. And as much as he loved his dog and as much as the dog was his close companion, um, he felt that was the priority to make sure that this never happened again. Now, Hassan's attorney told me that his client does want to resolve this issue with the Bach family. The family's lawsuit seeks close to $200,000 in medical expenses, plus an unspecified amount of money for pain and suffering for surviving family members. Live in effort, Denise Whitaker, Como 4 News.